Three months ago when I arrived at this home, I never thought I might never make it out alive. I have nowhere to go and no one to tell my secret. I am a slave. and dry the clothes, you stupid girl. It's like this every day, the constant shouting and hard work. I never thought that when I got here and met the maestro, that a woman not much younger than my mother would end up treating me like this. The long days I work as a domestic slave were excruciating. I never thought that when I was contacted by the maestro it would be like this. I understood the domestic word would be hard, but not like this. If she'd never contacted me, my life would have been very different. I don't pay you to sit around waiting time. I'm sick of your incompetence. And what is this? I see my favourite blouse. It's the ink stain from your leaking pen, maestro. I specifically requested you make sure that stain was removed. You can't seem to do anything right. I'm sorry, maestro. I tried my hardest. Trying isn't good enough. I want all these spotless by the time James Alex come round at seven, and that is a warning, not a request. Each day the verbal abuse gets worse and worse. I want to run away, I really want to, but I know I can't. There's no one there to help me. I don't know anyone. What am I meant to do? This is a foreign country. I don't know who to turn to or where to go. I don't know the laws for keeping a domestic slave. The maestro still wires money to my family monthly and still allow weekly phone calls to my mother and brother. You're probably wondering why I don't just tell my mother I'm being held captive, but I couldn't do that to her. We need the money. We need the support. Since my father's death, I don't know what I'm meant to do. It wasn't always like this. I used to be free. I used to be able to breathe the fresh air and walk around at my own free will. But then my father had a massive heart attack and my world was turned upside down. The stress of my father's death had begun to take a toll on my mother. With no money coming into the house, we were struggling to buy food to feed Paul and my mother and myself. Two weeks previously, I'd put an advertisement on an internet forum requesting work in the UK. I was willing to do anything to support my family. When I put the advertisement on and was contacted by the maestro to do maid work, I never thought that I'd be signing my life over to the devil. <laughs> 